The NBA is buzzing with its regular season in full swing, marked by fierce competition and gripping controversies. In today's segment, we delve into the latest happenings in the realm of basketball, examining shifts in player statistics and team rankings. Get ready as we unpack all the exciting twists and turns unfolding in the NBA universe. Let's get right into the team standings. In the Western Conference, there is a major shift in power. The Minnesota Timberwolves still remain at the top of the list, with 11 wins and 4 losses. Thunder climbed up from being 4th on the list to 2nd, with 11 wins and 5 losses. The Suns made their presence known and moved up to the 3rd position with their 6-win streak. But the Mavs and Nuggets, they moved down to being 4th and 5th respectively, each with 10 wins and 6 losses. Now, coming to the Eastern Conference, the Boston Celtics still remain the ruler of the court with 12 wins and 4 losses. But it's not the 76ers who are in number 2 this time. It's Orlando Magic, proudly wearing a 6-win streak. Next in line are the Bucks with 11 wins and 5 losses, closely followed by the 76ers with 11 wins and 5 losses as well. And the 5th place is taken up by the Knicks. Pacers and Heat simply moved down to being 6th and 7th, respectively. Before going to the stats, let's have a look around the on-court action and drama. And how can we proceed without talking about the controversy that has engulfed the Oklahoma City Thunder star, Josh Giddy? The 21-year-old Aussie player faced public scrutiny after rumors about his alleged relationship with a girl named Liv Cook surfaced on social media. But what's wrong with being in a relationship, you ask? Liv seemed to be a minor. However, in Australia, as well as in Oklahoma City, the age of consent is 16, although the Thunder are yet to put out an official statement. In a recent press conference, however, reporters asked Giddy about his involvement. And what did Giddy say? He simply chose the diplomatic path and did not reveal the specifics. He said, I get the question. I completely understand you want to know about it. But for right now, I don't have anything to say. But if you look at the Golden State Warriors, you'll know how deep they actually are in the troubled waters. Although the Phoenix Suns won against the Warriors in the last game, the victory was overshadowed by the ejection of Chris Paul by the ref, Scott Foster. This was the gasoline required to reignite their long-standing feud. Paul hinted at a personal issue involving his son with Foster, adding a personal twist to their professional conflict. Warriors coach Steve Kerr was also given a technical foul for asking about the ejection. Steph Curry also clashed with Foster. In the post-game interview, he emphasized the need to focus on the game rather than confrontations. This incident highlights the intense, often personal dynamics that shape the NBA's competitive landscape. James Harden is making sure to keep his name etched and bold in the book of NBA history. In the game against the Pelicans, he tied with Ron Harper for 138th on the all-time list, with his 1,009th regular season appearance. Averaging 16 points, 5 rebounds, and 5.9 assists, he's a cornerstone for the Clippers, who stand 11th in the Western Conference. His 48.1% field goal and 37.2% three-point shooting reflect his impact beyond scoring. This milestone underscores Harden's resilience and skill, vital for the Clippers' journey ahead in the demanding NBA season. Let's take a look at LeBron James' achievement for the week. The King has set a new record for the youngsters to follow. He became the first player in NBA history to surpass a score of 39,000 career points. But all of LeBron's efforts will go in vain if the Lakers can't climb up in the rankings. All that we need to see is how the team performs in the knockout rounds. Devin Booker is also making a name for himself. In the game against the Grizzlies, Booker scored a season high of 40 points. His efforts ensured the Suns' victory over the Grizzlies. However, Booker went ahead and praised Kevin Durant for his scoring ability. His response to KD's absence from the team? It's tough. You can't replace what he brings to the court. His scoring ability, his versatility on defense. It's going to take a lot of extra from everybody else. Now let's get to the numbers game. Yep. It's time to have a look at the player stats. Let's begin with the list for PPG. Joel Embiid still rules the list with 32.1 PPG. Durant climbed up to the second place with 31.4 PPG. Luka Doncic landed in the third place with 30.5 points per game, only to be followed by Shea Gilgeous-Alexander and Stephen Curry. Coming to the rebounds, the first two spots are the same as that of last week. Joker remains at the very top with 13.5 rebounds per game, and DeMantas Sabonis is second in line with 12.3 RPG. Anthony Davis and Rudy Gobert exchange places. Joel Embiid and Mitchell Robinson have tied up the fifth position with 11.3 rebounds per game. Tyrese Halliburton and Trey Young are the stagnant rulers of the assists, with 12.1 and 10.6 assists per game. 
Fred Van Vliet is third with 9.0 APG. Jokic is closely following the trail with 8.9 APG. And LaMelo Ball completes the list with 8.6 assists per game. Undeniably, these are the players that make or break the play, don't you agree? The list for field goal percentage is a different story altogether. On top of the list stands Jakob Piltel with 71.4%, followed by Mark Williams with 67.5 FG%. Moritz Wagner is still in the third place. However, Toppin is nowhere to be seen. Sabonis climbed up the ladder and landed on the fourth place with 62.0%, and Ivica Zubak is the fifth in the lineup. The list for three-pointers made looks almost the same as that of last week. Stephen Curry is still the king of threes with 83 pointers made till now. Luca and Hardaway Jr. are next in line with 61 and 55 three pointers made, nowhere close to Steph. Halliburton stands in fourth place with 54 three pointers. The fifth place is a tie with LaMelo Ball and Tyrese Maxey. Without a doubt, they make shooting the ball look easy. Now, for the three point percentage, Kevin Durant has climbed to the very top with 52.2 three percent. Jay Crowder is next with 51.6%, and then Doug McDermott with 49.1%. Cameron Payne is fourth with 48.8%, who is closely followed by Nicholas Batum with a difference of only 0.2%. These players are the ones that ensure accuracy in the world of NBA. But one can't score if there are blockers who stand like rigid walls in their way. These blockers ensure that the opponents don't put enough balls through the hoop. And the one on the top of this list is none other than Anthony Davis with 2.9 blocks per game. Brooke Lopez is still in the second place, but the rookies, Victor Wembanyama and Chet Holmgren, have taken up the third and fourth position, respectively. The fifth place, however, is a tie between Miles Turner and Rudy Gobert. Finally, for the steals, Shea Gilgis Alexander remains the king of thieves with 2.3 steals per game. Marcus Smart climbed up the ladder to second place with 2.0 STPG. The next three positions are taken up by Jalen Suggs, Paul George, and Herb Jones each with a score of 1.9 STPG. As we wrap up our NBA roundup, it's clear the league is brimming with excitement, from shifting team standings to personal milestones and on-court controversies. These developments highlight the dynamic nature of basketball, where every game is more than just points and rebounds. It's about strategy, resilience, and sometimes, personal grit. With each match, players and teams redefine the limits of the sport, promising an enthralling season ahead for fans and players alike. Stay tuned for more action-packed updates from the NBA. If you like this video, smash that like button and shower some love. Don't forget to subscribe to NBA Bling for more such videos. See you next time. Until then, never ever forget to shoot your shot.